G'day. In today's video, I'm just doing a simple unboxing on the PNY RTX 3080. As you can see, there's really not much in the way of model numbers on here. Basically, there is about the only model number that I've come across. Everything else in the box is very plain. Nothing special. As I'm looking around, I'm not even seeing the recommendations. As I say, recommendations for power supply. No, not even that. Anyway, we open this up. What do we see? Fairly standard packing phone. Nothing special there. Quick installation guide. Six connector, eight pin, various languages. I'm curious if it does mention about running separate cables from the power supply for the 8 and the 6 pin. So we can find English. Uh, da -da, make sure your power supply is turned off. Eliminate static electricity. Hold the card by the, the edges. Installing, uninstall graphics drivers. Installing into the AGP, PCIe or PCI. I certainly hope you're not using AGP for 3080. Connect to your monitor. Some require more auxiliary power supplies. Locate an unused power connector. Plug it into the corresponding port. All cables must be connected. So no, it doesn't really specify about having individual 8-pin or 6-pin cables coming from the power board or the power supply. So that is one thing that would be recommended. And before we get into here, let's see what else is in the box. <laughs> Pretty much nothing. We have foam. We have more foam. We had our paperwork, the quick installation guide. That surprised me. There's not even a driver disc in there. Driver disc or anything or even a recommendation on where to get drivers. Let's proceed. Quite a large slab of card. Now we finally do have a model number. Great, it still doesn't really tell us much more. We do have a pretty decent backplate and a pretty darn decent cooler. As you can see, the card is only really essentially could be a twin twin slot cooler. But being the amount of heat I'm assuming this is pumping out, it does require a fair bit more. What can I see here coming from there? Let's have a look here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six heat pipes coming out this side. Assumably very similar going out the other. As we can see there, HDMI, display port, display port, display port. Small little PNY sticker that does look to be removable. We do have a cover over the PCI 16 slot. Overall, a fairly beefcake card. So we do find that fairly impressive, fairly decent, but also we would want to be considering the price of these cards. Also looking down here, we can see some thermal pads. One here, some over here by the looks of it. So some up here I can see running down, also over here. It's not bad in the way of cooling. It does have a fair bit of weight to it. I'm not sure what the overall weight of these are. Let's find that out. There we go. We have 1.2, well, essentially 1.25 yeah, kilos. Well, two pounds, 11 ounces. Whopper of a baby. So this particular card will be getting paired up with a RX or 5800X. So that's gonna go very well, 16 gig of RAM, Four dim slots, 3600 megahertz. So this is going to be quite a beast of a machine, or at least that's where this one's going. But yeah, definitely, definitely big. As you can see, the, back, the bracket here. So looking along here, we have the, the cooling bracket. This is put along the edge here. Assumably that's also so you can mount it at some point if you'd want to. Put your own bracket to stop it from bending. 
and it's attached to the backlight along here. It almost needs one on the top to make a complete sandwich for it underneath the cooler. I don't think I can see one there. I do see a screw there, but I'm assuming it's just going to the top corner over here. But overall, beefcake. Very big. And let's get some dimensions on here too. Going from the front to the back. 32 centimeters or just a bit over 11 foot. There. How chunky are we? The backlight fan, 55 centimeters. So that way of running here. So one a fat boy card. And height, no different to a normal bracket. Slightly bit higher, as you can see. We'll just give that a quick measure for the sake of it. So if we factor in the PCI bracket, we're looking at 12 centimeters, or just shy of five inches high. Anyway, hope that helps you, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.